Welcome back fellow traveler. I want to talk to you today about a scam that happens pretty much on a daily basis to unsuspecting travelers taking taxis. I've been unfortunate enough to be part of this where I actually got into a taxi, got taken for a joyride without knowing until it was too late. I had occurred pretty much wasted about 45 minutes of my life in a taxi that where it should have been no longer than 15, 20 minutes. So what happened was I was traveling in New Zealand and I had booked a hotel that was close to the airport because I was only staying in Auckland for 12 hours before heading out and I needed a place to crash. So the closest hotel that I got was about 20 minutes away. And that's the only reason why I knew it was 20 minutes away because I wanted it to be quick uh, to end from the airport since I had a quick turnaround. Now thankfully since that time, I've been able to manage my time to plan my trip and to know exactly how long it takes to get to certain uh, destinations. So if I was, let's say, in Beijing and I wanted to go to the Great Wall of China, I calculated the time it would take. If I was decided to take a taxi or if I wanted to go to Tiananmen Square, uh, if I wanted to go to the Summer Palace, if I wanted to go to the zoo, I had my home point of the hotel that I was staying at and I simply Googled everything that I wanted to do, got the time, and not only did it help me avoid taxi drivers taking their time meandering through back streets just to get to the destination in hopes of collecting an extra few dollars from me. I then knew that I could fit a certain amount of activities in my day. So if I knew it took me a half hour to get somewhere, well, I wasn't going to plan to do three different things that were kind of all over the city. I really was starting to be strategic in deciding where to go and how to plan my travel within a certain city. Since that time, I luckily caught three different taxi drivers that tried the exact same thing on me, but I was aware of how long it was gonna take. And sometimes if you call a taxi driver out, they can get uh, hostile to the fact that you called them out on their scam. <laughs> what happens in that case is generally, also let me off here, pay the fare, take another one. I, I write down the, uh, the license plate number and then you know the best you can do is call. Uh, call the company and see see what happens but it's kind of sunk money anyways but it's better than losing extra money and extra time so that's it that's a fairly simple tip but it is one that's gonna save you a bunch of time and some money but the more important thing is time we have such a finite amount of time vacationing that we don't want to waste it in a taxi going through some weird back alley that you shouldn't even be going through in the first place before traveling, make a list of where you want to go in that destination. So that home marker for you can act as your beacon and northern light guiding you to each of your destinations. And then just list out, then Google. Google is such a great invention, right? <laughs> Google solves so many problems. So that's my tip on getting you into a taxi and out of that taxi as quick as possible. I hope it does serve you well. Uh, if you have any tips, taking taxis in, in foreign cities, foreign countries, let me know in the comments. I would love to share with the community more and more tips in order to avoid getting scammed or just making a taxi ride a more pleasant experience. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other videos right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here as well. That lets you know when we upload new videos, but not only that, it does help the channel out tremendously and I do appreciate it. And I do appreciate you making me a part of your day until next time, safe travels.